Something I get asked a lot is how to progress at FPV, and I think that there is one trick that will really help any pilot at any skill level get to be the best pilot they can be. Obviously there's a lot that goes into FPV freestyle, like your style, how to work, incorporate tricks into flow, but today I just want to talk about one trick that I think really helps people get better control and skill over the quad. So the one trick that I really think helps people improve is actually a simple power loop gap. I think they kind of touch all of the aspects of flying throttle control and flying around proximity. I think those are the two things that people struggle with. A lot of people fly in more open spaces, so flying around really tight objects really helps with that. And the power loop gap is literally, I think, the hardest proximity trick you can do. It's blind, you have to have really good throttle control, and you're flying really close to objects. So precision is something that's really important on this trick. Easy level right here, level one. Level two, if you get a little bit harder, you have more of a, a ceiling. And then level three is on the other side, it's like really tight, so. Perfect tree for power loop gapping. But you don't need a tree as big and as grand as that one. We're actually just gonna go find some trees over here. This is a great branch to practice your power loop gaps on. You have a nice tight ceiling and as well as a very clear gap that you can hit. We'll try it on both of them. I'll teach you guys how to do it on that one, but then I'll also show a little clip of me doing it on this one. So a normal power loop is basically where you're going to go under the object, do a big flip back and go back through. Um, it's it's equivalent to a backflip, but instead of doing the flip in one motion, in, a, in one position, you're gonna be giving throttle as you go back, if that makes sense. Power loop gap is when you're at the top of the loop is when you're going through a gap. So in this case, we're gonna be going under this branch, over through this branch while we're inverted, and back to the bottom. So it'll look something like this. So that's that is the power loop gap on the level one branch that we're going to be using today. I call it level one because the gap that which we're going to be hitting inverted is very large. Um, so we don't have to worry as much about hitting a gap versus with, with this one we're worrying more about not tapping the top. And we're going to be using throttle and pitch for this trick. You're going to be giving some throttle while pitching back to get you into that first um, arcing motion. Once you hit about 90 degrees to the ground, you're gonna give a little blip of throttle to shoot yourself back through the top of the gap, if that makes sense. You'll be inverted while hitting the gap, and after that you can give some more you can give some more back pitch and some more throttle to catch yourself and you can fly through the bottom of the gap. So let's go ahead and move on to um, a power loop gap where the gap is a little bit smaller. Alright, so for level two, we're gonna be power looping this tree branch right here. I know it's a little bit hard to see with the sunlight in the back but this gives us a little bit tighter of a gap that we're gonna be going through inverted. As you can see, this branch to this branch is the gap we're gonna be hitting. So what I wanna do is line it up, go back a little bit, get some speed, and power loop up through it, like that. So as we're entering the power loop, give some throttle, pitch back, little blip, pitch back, and more power to catch yourself. It's a lot to think about when you're explaining it, but it's really not that hard. You're basically only giving back pitch and throttle. Just hear the little blip. Now let's go ahead and move on to level three. So this one is even more tight of a gap. Just we're gonna be having to keep everything tighter to the tree, and boom. If you can keep the tree in view, that would be great. Um, obviously you're coming into it a little bit blind, so like that a little bit. Um, that's a way to cheat it. I don't think it looks as good um, from like a flight video perspective, um, but to practice it, it's definitely a way to do it. Um, at the end, your end goal should, you should want to look something like this, where it's really a really smooth circle. So, like that. That's what you should try to work up to. So one thing to keep note about is that my pitch stick, when I'm giving back pitch to do the maneuver, is very smooth. You see, there's not much movement in it but my throttle is a little bit more blippy so the pitch axis is what is going to make the trick uh, look smooth or not my drone is not as responsive on the throttle as other drones are so i can be a little bit more active in the throttle and you won't see too many movements in the in the video so the throttle in this maneuver is a lot of blips while the pitch stick is just one smooth movement one other thing that this trick really helps you get good at is overall smoothness while flying. All footage that you're seeing in this video is unstabilized, um, and that's just because I, I prefer to 
have the viewer see every little movement of my fingers. But this trick, when you're flying really tight proximity, it's really hard to do these maneuvers and fly shakily. Just because when you're when you're hitting small gaps, you have to be precise. And usually something that comes with being precise is being smooth on the sticks. So, precision, right there. You can apply this trick to basically anything that has three levels. So you have ground, barrier, and ceiling, and power loop in between there. We're gonna take this tree as another example. See, we have this perfect branch right here. A little bit tighter than what we were working before, meaning we have a little bit smaller of a gap that we're gonna have to go through. So this is a really proximity gap we're gonna be hitting, so let's go ahead and get into it. Always be coming at it with a little bit of speed. You don't wanna be coming from idle just because you're using a lot of momentum with this trick. So go down low, pop up, little blip of throttle, and catch. Power loop, blip, catch, and then you're on your way in your, in your awesome flow. You can do this trick basically on any branch that has a gap below it as well as above it. And one thing, if you want to really practice keeping this move really tight, is to try to hug the branch as much as you can. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and try it with this one. So we're gonna try to stay as close to that branch as we can. You see how that whole time I was really tracking the branch, staying within a foot of the branch the entire time. Let's go ahead and try it one more time. So keeping it really tight to the branch is something that will really help you get that proxy down. So the whole purpose of practicing this power loop gap on something that has a ceiling is to restrict how high you can go. A lot of the times we see people do power loops to the moon like and like it looks cool and it's fun to do but it doesn't really help with your skills so adding a ceiling is really what will benefit you in your proximity skills. Having really good throttle control is something that can help you in a bunch of scenarios. When you're flying in like a really tight parking garage, that's another example of where you have a ground and a ceiling and having good throttle control will help you maintain a steady altitude so that you're not going all over the place crashing. Also, having good throttle control makes you look overall smoother. If you're going in a straight line and you're able to maintain a steady altitude over the ground, the video result will just be so much better as opposed to if you're all over like this. Bonus tip that we're going to talk about today is we talked about clearing the gap on a on, on a vertical axis but what happens if you have constraints on the sides now? Let's go ahead and get a pack up so I can kind of break down my approach to hitting gaps that have vertical constraints as well as horizontal constraints. Our gap here we have a vertical constraint right there, horizontal constraints right there and right there and our other vertical constraint the bottom right there. So let's go ahead and set this up like we would any other power loop gap. We're gonna go ahead and come at, come at it from a little run, a little, little, little speed. And catch your throttle. That's why it's harder. So when you have horizontal constraints, you're gonna wanna have something that you can refer to to line it up if that makes sense. So what I'm gonna be looking at when I'm giving throttle is this whole trunk as it rides up because that's something that I know will be in frame the entire time. So I'm gonna try to stay the same distance from that the entire time, basically going in a straight line. So here we go. There we go. That was clean. When I did my power loop, I once, once I was here, I was looking up at this branch that rode up along, I uh, rode up all the way to the top. So basically we have our horizontal constraint right here and I was just watching that as it went all the way up to know where I am horizontally. And as you can see with actually that last one, I turned a little bit to the side so I can have more of a visual of where I'm going. So obviously you want to work up to having perfect straight back power loops, giving no roll. But with this one, a way to kind of practice these is you can do a little roll over them. This allows you to um, see where you're going the entire time while also allowing you to practice your throttle movements. So let's do the roll one more time. A roll over it one more time. And boom, so now I feel comfortable with my throttle control and how much throttle I'm giving. So let's go ahead and do it blind and straightforward. We did it, but we hit a ghost branch. There we go, that was clean. If you liked that video, make sure to like it, do all the things, and leave a comment down below if you ended up taking these 
principles and applying them to your flying. Try it out, and I want to hear if you guys got a better pilot. Post all over Instagram. Tag me. I want to see your guys' progression because I always want to help people. That's my biggest thing. Help people get better at flying. See you guys later. Ciao.